welcome back to another episode of The Ramsey Show. I'm Peter. And I'm Yoshi. This week, we have an interview with Mr. Androstic. The Rams update with Scott and Cedric. And how to make a towel animal with Lila. But first, the question of the week. America, your thoughts. America, your thoughts? Uh, America is the land of opportunity. Thanks. America, your thoughts? America needs to step up. America, your thoughts? It is too big. America, your thoughts? We need to stop eating junk food and start eating healthier. Come on, people. America, your thoughts, girls? It's a pretty good place to be. Thanks for the American answers, Ramsey. Now let's join myself and Peter for the interview. Welcome to the interview with Mr. Androstic. Well, I'm glad to be here. Let's get started. So what do you do here at Ramsey? I'm an assistant principal, and that includes working with students, uh, working with staff to make sure that, um, that we just have to check in, make sure that we're helping each other out. Uh, and with students, really developing students so they can be the best students they can be. So how long have you been at Ramsey then? This is my third year at Ramsey, and it's my 10th year in St. Paul Public Schools. So what did you do before you were an assistant principal? I worked at Olson Middle School for nine years as a teacher. I taught social studies, and I helped teachers write curriculum. So what college did you go to? I went to Marquette University in Milwaukee for my undergrad, and then I got my graduate degree and my as a license through St. Thomas. Uh, so what's your favorite class in middle school? My favorite class when I was in middle school? Yeah. Man, I liked social studies and English. So we got to we did we got to do some plays and and like based on like historical uh, times. So that's why I was I kind of got into that. So, um, have anyone ever told you that you like you look like Ed Rooney? Ed Rooney is this the principal on uh, on Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Uh, I think yes. So. Yes. Yes, I did that at least five times, <laughs> and now a sixth. I don't think it's a flattering comment, but I accept it nonetheless. So, what's your favorite potato-based food? My favorite potato-based food? Hmm. You know, I like potato salad. I like hash browns. Hash browns for breakfast, when I allow it, is, is good. With some ketchup, hot sauce. Well, um, thank you, Ms. Andrasik. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck next year. All right, now back to you, me and Peter. Thanks for the interview, Mr. Andrasik. Now for the Rams update with Scott and Cedric. We nailed it! Hey, I'm Scott. And I'm Cedric. This week on the Rams update, Batman just ended, so we have the leaderboard for that. Eight wins, three losses. We got to third place. Also, the students play teachers in badminton, so let's watch some clips on that. Cool clips. Ramsey's baseball finished second place in the playoffs, losing to Capitol Hill in the championship game. Also, we have some footage from a Spanish field trip that we took to Boca Chica restaurant. Let's see what else is going on in Ramsey. Penning's class where they're dissecting chicken wings. Check it out. 
pretty disgusting. I'm not going to the show. Yeah, then we do like we two cuts. Cut this part. You see, like right here. Feels really bony, but also squishy at the same time. Yeah, it's like the bone and the muscle. Okay, so there's a small incision there. Now you can pick it up like that. Quit playing with your food, man. They're not even doing it. I don't know how to do this. Oh, here, I'm gonna help. Okay. They finally found a way to get the skin open. It was really hard to get open because it was so fatty. All right, I'm Mr. Lewis here to talk to you about Valley Fair field trip expectations. Can't have more than five tardies. Two behavior referrals. This includes behavior referrals during passing time, even if you're not in the class. Uh, and then no suspensions, dismissals, EIP, or Saturday school from now until the end of the year. <coughs> or actually, we're counting tardies, I guess, from last week. Uh, you need to have textbooks in uh, and other library books before you will be eligible to go. So if you don't have those in, make sure you get that up to date. If you have questions, ask Ms. Watson. Uh, it will cost $25. That includes your trip there and back and your Valley Fair ticket. Some questions people have. Can you bring a bag? Yes, you can bring a bag to Valley Fair. Um, you are responsible for the bag once you're there. If it's lost, it's up to you. If you want to rent a locker, you can, but that's all up to you. Uh, your teachers and the people on the field trip will not be taking care of that for you. You can get a bag lunch from the school if you would like. Uh, technically, Valley Fair does not allow you to bring food in, but if you bring a bag lunch in your bag, you can do that. You can also purchase food there. There are food stands at Valley Fair. Just so you know, guys, we're going to leave at 8.45 on that Tuesday. We're going to get back about 6.15. You need to have a ride ready to go here uh, or some way to get home at 6.15. That is the time we will be returning. So make sure you have a ride ready to go at 6.15. Let's have fun, Ramsey. <laughs> Hi, Ramsey. There's eight days of school left and the yearbooks are in. Today you will be getting your pre-ordered yearbooks in your 10th period class at the end of the day. If you don't have a yearbook, you can buy it at the main office while supplies last for $22 before school. Not during school day hours. Bring a check or cash. Exactly $22. Thanks for that wonderful Rams update, Scott and Cedric. Now let's join Lila to find out how to make a fancy towel animal. Oui, oui. Hi everyone, it's Lila here. Today we'll be making a towel animal shaped into a dog. And your end result will be like this. I recommend having the same color towels. You're gonna need um, a big towel and then <laughs> um, a little towel like this will work fine. It's a squirrel, guys. It's so going to a magical right, place. Now, you're going to fold it. Like, you see how it's like a crocodile? You want um, to flip um, it the other way so you can't yeah, that's lift it nice. back and forth. And then that's you want to pull it out like that for all four corners. Pull it. And then you should um, eventually reach to this point. And it should end up looking like this. And then you, that's the body. Alright, so you're going to fold it in half on the long side. And then you're going to hold the middle, but then only take the top layer. And then it should end up looking like this. And then do the same thing to the other side. And then it should end up looking like this. This. <laughs> That's a beautiful dog. Is it supposed to be a dog? Yeah. Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Ramsey Show. I'm Yoshi. And I'm Peter. Make sure you join us next week for the final episode of the Ramsey Show. My name is Cooper, and I approve of this message. Wee. It's wee wee. We're gonna do wee wee. Alright. Wee wee. I wasn't skilled at math, right, Mr. Lutz? <laughs>
Oh, Can I be in the poopers though? Yeah, yeah I'm boss. I'm Mikaya with Olaf. <laughs> Say hi, Olaf. Hi, Olaf. <laughs> Let's check that out. What? Do you Thanks for that wonderful update, Scott and Cedric. Rams update! That's what I said! 1920! Oh! Get off the film. I don't want that.